Friends, let us start with a new topic, debentures. In this topic of debentures, we are going to discuss what is a debenture and then journal entries for issue of debentures and different types of issues like debentures could be issued at a par or at a discount or at a premium. Similarly, they can also be redeemed at a par or at a discount or at a premium. Of course, at the time of issue itself, if we are clear with uh, by what way we are going to redeem it, then we are also going to give due consideration for the fact that how the debenture is going to get a redeemed is the point and accordingly the entries will come. Then we have the issue of redemption of a, a debentures, how debentures are going to get a redeemed, what are the different methods and all. So, to start with what is a debenture? See how it differs from the loan taken by the company. Try to understand in both the cases of loan taken by the company and debentures issued by the company, the fact remains the same that the company borrowed the money from the outsider. But in case of the loan, what will happen? Loan is not having a negotiability, transferability, whereas your debentures are freely transferable and the consent of the company is not required as in when you make the transfer of the debenture, whereas if one takes the loan from other, the other person who has given the loan, whenever he want to transfer that loan to somebody else, he has to take the consent of the person who has taken the loan. That is fundamentally the difference between the loan and the debenture. So, what is a debenture? Debenture is a defined as an acknowledgement of a debt given under the seal of the company. So, debenture is nothing but a acknowledgement of the debt taken by the company and which acknowledgement will contain the seal of the company. The loan raised by the company may be divided under large number of parts, each part being called as a debenture. So, the loan which is taken will be divided into large number of parts and each part is called as a debenture. And basically debenture is a credit shift security that is you can easily shift that particular loan from one person to another person by transferring the debentures. And what the company has to do, company has to pay the interest at a fixed agreed rate is the point. Then what is the distinction between a debenture and debenture stock? Share and stock, how they differ? Similarly, you have debenture and debenture stock. So, what is the basic distinction? Debenture need not be fully paid up, even partly paid debentures could be there. But once you say debenture stock, it is necessarily the one which is a fully paid up. Debentures are transferable only in their entire, entirely where debenture stock is transferable in fractions. If you want to transfer, you can transfer the debentures only in whole numbers, not in fractions, whereas uh, your debenture stock can be transferred in fractions also. Debentures have identified in terms of the numbers assigned to them. So, each debenture has got a specific identification number, whereas there is no such a specific identity for the a debenture, a stock is the point. What is the distinction between the debenture holder and the shareholder? Debenture holder is basically a loan creator, whereas shareholder is one of the proprietors of the company. And debenture holder for his investment in the company, what he gets is an interest and a shareholder what he gets is a, a dividend. Debenture interest has to be paid irrespective of the fact whether the company earns profit or not, whereas dividend is paid only when the company has got the 
prophets and debentures are redeemed as per the terms of redemption that is after 5 years or after 7 years as per the terms of the that particular debenture issue debentures gets redeemed whereas, the shares cannot be redeemed during the lifetime of that particular company only when company goes into liquidation at that point of time shareholder will receive the money from the company till such time if the shareholder want the money the only option that is available for him is to transfer those shares and get the money. But the question of company paying the repaying the money does not arise as long as the company is a, a going concern only when company is in liquidation company will pay to the shareholders. Of course, you have buyback scheme wherein company can purchase its own shares, but that and all comes with the, you are strictly adhering to the legal formalities you have to take the approvals and all. Then in case of winding up debenture holders are paid first before the shareholder. So, if any amount is left only then the shareholder is going to get back his money. Debentures can be issued on any condition like par discount or at a premium and for shares to be issued at a discount only on completion of certain formalities is the points, legal formalities are there for issuing the debentures at a, a discount. What are the different kinds of debentures, how you are trying to make the distinction or a classification of debentures. From the security point of view, if you want to make the distinction of the debentures, you have got naked debentures and mortgage debentures. What do you mean by naked debenture friends? That is no asset is being given as or offered as a security against the debenture. Generally, if somebody is giving the loan means they want some security to be given to them but in case if the company is not offering any security and taking the money from the general public and issuing the debentures, such a debenture is called as a naked debenture. Try to understand friends whether it is a naked debenture or the same unsecured debenture. Under the Companies Act, even the unsecured debenture will have the floating charge over the assets. There is a concept called as a fixed charge and the floating charge. So, fixed charge once it is a secured loan then there will be an asset which is specifically assigned as a security against that particular loan whereas, your unsecured loan that is the debentures which are not given any security under the companies act they are given a floating charge over all the assets that is when we do the liquidation topic then you can get into it more clearly that is before the sundry creditors unsecured creditors are paid first the debenture holders who have got the floating charge will be paid first. What is a mortgage debenture? When debenture is secured by a charge on the assets of the company they are known as a mortgage debenture or the same you can call it as a secured debentures. From the point of view of the permanency, you are saying debentures are of two types, one is a redeemable debenture and another is a irredeemable debenture. What is a redeemable debenture? These are those debentures which are redeemed either at a par or at a discount or at a premium after the expiry of stipulated period. So, the same can be reissued even after the redemption if not cancelled. So, the point here is after lapse of certain period which is agreed upon initially itself the debentures if they are going to get paid off that is called as a redeemable debenture. Whereas, irredeemable debentures means debentures cannot be redeemed unless the company goes into a liquidation is the point. From the recording point of view the debentures are of two types bearer debentures and registered debentures. What is a bearer debenture? That is without intimating to the company debenture can be transferred from one person to another person 
that is called as a bearer debenture. Whereas, what do you mean by registered debenture is once you transfer the debenture from one person to the another person, what need to happen friends? What need to happen is like uh, what need to happen is you need to necessarily go to the company and uh, get the fact of the transfer of the debenture and uh, should uh, get that particular debenture uh, registered in the name of the transferee, then only the transfer ta takes the effects. Such a situation you call it as a registered uh, debenture is the point. So, bearer debentures, these debentures are just like negotiable instruments and are transferable by simple delivery interest is payable to the holders irrespective of the identity. So, company is not bothered about whether they came to the company and got their names registered or not, whoever is the holder of that particular debenture to them the interest will be paid. Whereas, in case of a registered debentures, transfer of these debentures will be affected by execution of a transfer deed and interest, repay, interest or repayment of debenture is made to that person whose name is registered in the books of the a company is the point. From the convertibility point of view, if you look at the debentures, debentures are of two types, convertible debentures and non-convertible debentures. What is a convertible debenture is? If the option is given to the debenture holder to convert their debentures either into preference shares or into equity shares at a fixed rate of exchange after a certain period, such debenture is called as a convertible a debenture, where such an option is not given or that right is not given for debenture holders to opt for conversion, such is called as a what you call a non-convertible debentures. From the priority point of view, the debentures could be first debentures and second debentures. That is, first debentures and second debentures could mean what? When the company goes into liquidation, first the first debentures will be paid, repaid first and then the second debentures will be repaid is the point. Then debenture redemption reserve, what is this concept of a debenture redemption reserve? Friends try to understand, we did with the preference share capital and there we studied a reserve called as a capital redemption reserve. Capital redemption reserve, we asked the company to create in which situation, when they want to redeem the preference share capital and when they are not going for the making of the fresh issue, then we ask the company to create a capital redemption reserve to the extent of the face value of the preference shares that are getting redeemed. And a capital redemption reserve, the problem is, you cannot make use of the capital redemption reserve for any purpose except for the purpose of issuing of the bonus shares. This is what our understanding as to the capital redemption reserve. But here the whole lot of objective and the final utilization of debenture redemption reserve, what is it? See, company will have two things. One is assets, another is obligations. Not only company, even we will have certain assets and certain obligations. I want to purchase a car after three years. Slowly, what I need to do? Every year, at least 40, 50,000 rupees I should set aside. So, that after 3, 4 years, I will have 2 lakhs of the cash, whereby I can approach a bank for some 6 lakhs of the loan. With the 8 lakhs, I can have a car of my choice. Because total finance, even the banker may not be interested to give. But after 4 years, if I am not setting aside any part of my profits and then think of uh, having an asset, then it would be difficult. So, also let us suppose I am 
taking a loan, which is repayable after 10 years. Every year what I need to do? I need to set aside a part of the profits and invest those profits somewhere in the outside investments, so that by the time the obligation to pay comes after 10 years, I can happily can make the repayment. So, keeping this objective in the mind, what is stated is, once you issue the debentures, in order to redeem the debentures, you have to create a debenture redemption reserve. Of course, debenture redemption reserve is an appropriation from the profit. For that matter, any reserve is an appropriation of a profit. Here, the very purpose of creating it is to have a definiteness about our ability to redeem the debentures at a later date is the point. But unlike your capital redemption reserve friends, your debenture redemption reserve, once the debentures got redeemed, happily debenture redemption reserve you can revert it back to the general reserve and can be utilized for any purpose. Whereas, your capital redemption reserve, once created it cannot be used for any other purpose except for the purpose of issuing of the bonus shares. Now, let us have a look at what is this debenture redemption reserve. If debentures are to be redeemed out of profits, that is you are not going for making a fresh issue of debentures to redeem the existing debentures, then you call it as a redemption out of profits. So, if the debentures are redeemed out of the profit, company will transfer a profit to an account called as a debenture redemption reserve. The entry is profit and loss appropriation account data to debenture redemption reserve. There are certain SEBI guidelines with respect to the issuing, with respect to the debenture redemption reserve. What is, what are those SEBI guidelines? This question is tested twice in the examination. Apart from that, you please go through it carefully, because this is one of the statutory obligations, which the companies need to strictly adhere to. Creation of DRR is not required for debentures with a maturity period of 18 months or less. So, there is no requirement to create the DRR, debenture redemption reserve, in case if you are issuing the debentures whose maturity period is less than 18 months. Second, DRR is not required in case of a convertible debentures. So, if the option for conversion is there for the debentures to the extent of convertible portion, you need not create the debenture redemption reserve. And then, Company cannot redeem its debentures purely out of capital or purely out of uh, profits. So, partly out of uh, the fresh issue, partly out of uh, creation of debenture redemption reserve, you can make the uh, redemption. So, purely it cannot be done out of capital or purely it cannot be done out of the profits. So, company should create what? DRR equivalent to 50 percent of the debentures before the debenture redemption commences is the points. Withdrawal from the DRR is permissible only if 10 percent of the debenture liability has been actually redeemed by the company, then only you can utilize the fund which is there in the DRR is the points. After debentures are redeemed, the amount of DRR is to be transferred to which account? General reserve. Unlike your CRR, capital redemption reserve which cannot be again brought back to the general reserve, which should be used only for issuing of the bonus shares. Your DRR is a very simple reserve. The moment the debentures gets redeemed off, DRR again gets reverted back to the general reserve is the point. Premium on issue of debentures versus premium on redemption of debentures. What is the basic distinction between these two? One is a capital profit and another is a capital loss friends. Once you issue the debentures by collecting the premium, it is a profit. Whereas, once you redeem the debentures at a premium, it is a loss. So, premium on issue of debentures is a capital profit and the same is shown on the liability side of the balance sheet under the head reserves and surplus. Whereas, premium on redemption of debentures represents a provision and is shown under the current liabilities and a provisions. So, 
premium on redemption of debentures is a provision. How you create that provision? Laws on issue of debentures account data to premium on a redemption of debentures and that laws on issue of debentures will get close to over a period of the life of that particular debenture is the point and finally, ultimately this provision will help you at the time of redemption you will close this provision that is a premium on redemption of debentures against the debenture holders and you are going to make the payment to the debenture holders. So, in both the cases what we are saying one is a profit another is a provision for a future loss, is a, second is a provision for a future a loss is the point. So, where you have to disclose means that a premium on the issue of debentures is to be shown in the reserves and surplus, whereas a premium on a redemption of debentures in respect of which you created a provision that is to be shown under the current liabilities and the provisions. This type of questions are important from the PCC point of view, because all two marks questions are there. They may ask you a question like this, where you have to make a disclosure is the point. Accounting treatment for issue of debentures. So, accounting entries on issue of debentures, what it is, let us look at. When debentures are issued for consideration in cash, PSA, when amount is payable in full at time, the entries will be as under. It is like, it is not that through application you will collect something, allotment you will collect something and through calls you will collect something, it is not like that. Only at one time, let us suppose if you are collecting the money, then the entry is what? Simple entry bank account data to debentures. So, when debentures are issued at a par and also redeemable at a par, then the entry is what? Bank account data to a debentures, 100 rupees, 100 rupees. You collected 100 rupees, issued the debentures of the face value 100 rupees, then bank account data to debentures 100, 100. When debentures are issued at a par, but repayable at a premium, they are issued at par and repayable at a premium. Friends, try to understand, once you issue at a par, bank account debtor to debentures, but they are repayable at a premium. Repayable at a premium means what? There is a future loss. As per the concept of conservatism, what should happen friends? All future losses must be well provided for. How you will provide for the same laws on issue of debentures account data to premium on a redemption of a debentures is the points. So, what is the entry? Normal entry is bank account data to debentures. Since it is a redeemable at a premium for that future loss, additionally you are creating the additional entry is laws on issue of debentures account data to premium on a redemption of a debentures is the point. So, the situation to be completed, discount on issue of debentures versus loss on issue of debentures. Discount on issue of debentures and loss on issue of debentures is what? See, at the time of issue, if you are issuing the debentures at a discount, that is called as a discount on issue of debentures. Loss on issue of debentures means what? If those debentures which you issued are redeemable at a premium, that is a loss on redemption of a, a de, loss on issue of debentures. So, the basic distinction between these two is what? One is an immediate loss, second is a future loss for which you are going to make a, a provision in the form of premium on a redemption of debentures. Both are capital losses. Hence, are shown in the asset side of the balance sheet under the miscellaneous expenditure. Both the discount on issue of debentures as well as the loss on issue of debentures, both are capital losses will be shown on the asset side of the balance sheet under miscellaneous expenditure. These accounts are to be written off against the profit and loss account or share premium account. However, discount on issue of debentures is a loss arising at the time of issue of debentures itself, whereas loss on issue of debentures is a future loss that is a loss arising at the time of a redemption of a, a debentures is the point. However, this future loss is accounted for in the books of accounts at the time of issue itself 
although loss is a future loss, it should be spread over different number of years up to the redemption of debentures. Premium on redemption of debentures. What is premium on redemption of debentures? Already we have discussed on this particular point that is at the time of issue itself, if it is stated that in future it is going to be redeemed at a premium, that we call it as a premium on a redemption of debentures and this creates a future loss for which we make a, a provision by writing the entry loss on issue of debentures account data to premium on a redemption of a debentures is the point. So, loss on issue of debentures will be shown under the miscellaneous expenditure and closed over the several years through profit and loss account by writing the entry profit and loss account data to loss on issue of debentures. Proportionately over the years, you are going to write off this. Thus, at the time of the debentures are redeemed, the total loss gets closed against the what you call a profit and loss account and we will have a liability account called as a premium on redemption of debentures, which will be closed by payment on payment of that liability. So, what we will do premium on redemption of debentures account data to debenture holders, debenture holders account data to bank or alternatively premium on redemption of debentures which shows a credit balance you debit it and a credit what account bank account co credit kar do. Situation 3, when the debentures are issued at a par redeemable at a discount, first try to feel the situation 100 rupees I am taking from you and issuing a debenture of a face value 100. I said I am going to redeem this 100 rupees debenture at a discount of 10 rupees. Let us suppose I am going to pay you 90 rupees. But here try to understand friends, I am only writing the entry bank account data to debentures 100, 100. Yes, redeeming it at a discount in future is a profit for me, but that profit is what future profit concept of conservatism says what you do not anticipate any profits, anticipate and provide for all future losses is the point. So, simple entry is bank account data to debentures. Here we will not recognize the profit on issue based on the concept of a, a conservatism. Actually, this is a what you call future profit. So, but since future profits we will not take into consideration entry is bank account data to debentures is the point. When debentures are issued at a discount, redeemable at a par. Issued at a discount and redeemable at a par. What is the point friends? Today I am taking a 90 rupees from you and I am promising you to pay 100 rupees. So, I have got two things. What are the two things? Immediate loss in the form of discount on issue of debentures. Future loss because I have agreed you to issue the uh, redeem the debentures at a at a par only. So, there is no future loss, the immediate loss is there in the form of a, a discount. So, immediate losses are to be accounted for, immediate losses are to be accounted for. So, what is the entry bank account data discount on issue of debentures account to debentures account, there is no future loss, immediate loss is there. When debentures are issued at a discount and a repayable at a premium, here Rata, abhi bhi loss hai, future may be loss hai. That is, I take 90 rupees from you and give you 110 rupees. I take 90 rupees from you and I promise you to pay 110 rupees. Now, immediate loss is 10 rupees, future loss is 10 more rupees. So, you have got present loss, future loss. Present loss comes in the form of discount on issue of debentures. Future loss for which you need to make a provision, how you make a provision? Loss on issue of debentures account data to premium on a redemption of a, a debentures. So, how the entry is? Bank account data are 90 rupees, loss on issue of debentures account data are 10 rupees, discount on issue of debentures account data are 10 rupees, two debentures 100 rupees to premium on a redemption of debentures. Itna 10 rupees. So, totally how much it is coming to bank account data are 90, loss on issue of debentures 10, 90 plus 10 is 100, 100 plus 10 is 
one ten. To debentures account, debentures will be created always with the face value. What is that? Hundred rupees. And a premium on redemption of debentures is what? Ten rupees. Debits and credits got tallied or not? All of you are able to feel it. Debenture account will be credited with the hundred rupees. Premium on redemption of debenture will get credited with the ten rupees. And upper debits me kya hai? Bank ninety rupees loss on issue. Ten rupees discount on issue of debentures ten rupees. When debenture, because this is most important entry, the just now concluded this entry is very very important because two to three marks question may come and you may be asked to write the journal entry. At that point of time, this thing should go into your mind. Immediate loss is to be accounted for. Future loss is to be provided for. When debentures are issued at a discount and also repayable at a discount, one is immediate loss, second is the future profit. Do you feel it? Issuing at a discount is an immediate loss. Redeeming at a discount is a future loss, future profit. Immediate loss we will account for. Future profit we will not account for. So the entry is bank account data, discount on issue of debentures account data, two debentures. Similarly, when debentures are issued at a premium, redeemable at a par. Issuing at a premium is an immediate profit you have to account for. So, bank account debtor, two debentures account, two premium on issue of a debentures is the point. When debentures are issued at a premium, redeemable at a premium. Yes, immediate profit is there, future loss is there. Both are to be accounted for. This entry is also very, very important from the examination point of view. One is immediate profit, second is the future loss. So, how you are accounting for the same bank account data, loss on issue of debentures account data to debentures to premium on issue of debentures to premium on the redemption of a debentures is the point. So, whenever in future the debentures are to be redeemed at a premium, additional entry is what? Loss on issue of debentures account data to premium on a redemption of debentures is the point. When debentures are issued as a collateral security, this is an additional security to the loan, then see if debentures are issued as a collateral security, actually there is no need for passing any entry, whereas alternatively you may pass an entry, a dummy entry can be created by what? Debenture suspense account data to debentures. Once that particular loan against which these debentures are given as a collateral security is repaid, then immediately the entry will get reversed by writing the entry debentures account data to debentures suspense accounts. Writing of the discount on issue of debentures. How do you write off the discount on issue of debentures? Entire amount cannot be written off in the year in which the debentures are redeemed because the benefit of raising the loan is enjoyed over a period of time. So, it can, should be written off over the period of that particular debenture is the point. So, entire amount cannot be written off in the year in which such debentures are issued as the benefit of such borrowings will continue till the redemption takes place. The discount of uh, on issue of debentures can be written off in two ways. One is as it is a capital loss, it can be written off against a capital profit or security premium account or it can also be treated as a default revenue expenditure and it can be written off against the profit and loss account of the period having the benefit of such a borrowed money is the point. Accounting treatments wherever is there, you be careful because there is always a chance that examiner asking you write the accounting treatment for discount on issue of a debentures is the point. One is since it being a capital loss is being a written off against the capital profits or security premium or alternatively this could be treated as a default revenue and it could be charged off over a period of uh, that uh, debentures against the profit and loss account is the points. Interest on debentures, it is a charge against the profit, company is to bound, uh, company is bound to deduct uh, the income tax on such interest. Of course, in the topic of uh, the income tax, you have got TDS provisions, there you might have studied about TDS on uh, the 
debentures and loans. Company also need to deduct the tax whenever it is going to make the payment of a interest. When interest becomes a due, the entry is what? Debenture interest account data to TDS to debenture holders. When interest is paid, debenture holders account data to bank and ultimately that a TDS is also to be paid off, TDS to bank. SB, when debentures are issued for consideration other than cash, yes, sometimes you will not collect the cash for issuing the debentures. You may acquire a building and may issue the debentures. In that case, asset account data to debentures account is the entry. Now, we come to the most important part of the discussion, redemption of debentures. Redemption of debentures means what? Making the repayment of a debentures is called as a redemption of a debentures. The redemption of debentures means the discharge of the liability relating to the debentures issued by the company. What are the different methods of redemption? After the expiry of the specific period, you are redeeming the debentures as per the terms of issue, you call it as a redemption on maturity. Redemption of debentures by annual drawings. What is this annual drawings? The company is in need of money. It has taken the loan and it issued the debentures. Subsequently, it was found that company has got surplus money after one year or two years, but these debentures are actually issued for seven years. But there the at the time of issue, the agreement between the debenture holder and the company is that in case if the company has got excess money, it can repay those debentures before the maturity also. Now, the point of interest is like that only we entered into agreement with Lalita, Anwar, Nitin. Now, the company has got good amount of the money to repay. Now, Lalita says first you redeem the Nitin's debentures or Padma's debentures. Now, Padma also say the same thing, Nitin also say the same thing. The company kya karna padta? Tino ka nama kagaj pe likke kaisa karke it has to draw the lottery. Whose ever name comes, they have to accept for redeeming the debentures. So, wo concept hai kya hai? Redemption of debentures by annual drawings. Draw karke naam leke usko pehle redeem kar dete hain. So, portion of the total debentures are redeemed year after year is the point. Then the third mode of redeeming the debenture is what? Converting the debentures into the shares is the points. Then redemption by purchase of own debentures in the open market. This is the most dynamic exercise. That is unlike the shares which cannot be purchased in the open market. Companies cannot buy back their own shares unless it is a buyback scheme approved by the appropriate authorities. But debentures can always be purchased. But in purchasing of the own debentures, there are two things friends. You are purchasing your own debentures and uh, the purpose of such a purchase of own debentures is for making immediate cancellation. That is one aspect. The second aspect of it is what? You are purchasing your own debentures to gain some benefit from the fluctuations in the market values. That is when the company's debenture market value is less you are going to purchase the debentures. When the debenture market value is more, then you are going to make sale. Just like any other company's debentures or shares you are purchasing and making sale, your own company's debentures also you can purchase and can make sale is the points. So, redemption by purchase of own debentures in the open market, this is also another mode of redeeming the debentures. Another one, Redemption of debentures at the expiry of a specific period. 
the entire amount is paid to the debenture holders at the maturity in lump sum, payment is made out of capital or out of profits or by conversion into shares. So, the first thing that we learned is redemption of debentures on expiry of the specific period, there what is happening? The entire amount will be paid to the debenture holders on maturity in lump sum. This payment can be made out of the capital or out of the profits means what? By transferring the funds to the debenture redemption reserve or by conversion into shares that is debentures getting converted into shares on maturity of debentures. Out of capital means what? Debentures are redeemed out of capital assets of the a company and profits are not utilized to replace the debentures. If debentures are redeemed at a par, when debentures becomes due, the entry is a debentures account dated to debenture holders, debenture holders account dated to a bank is the point. If debentures are redeemed at a discount, the entry is debentures account data to discount on redemption of debentures to debenture holders, debenture holders account dated to bank. So, discount on redemption of debentures is a capital profit. So, it will be transferred to which account? Capital reserve is the point. So, discount on redemption is a capital profit. Then, if debentures are redeemed at a premium, debentures account data, premium on redemption of debentures account data to debenture holders, debenture holders account data to bank. Out of profits, profits of the company are utilized for the purpose of redemption by withholding the same from distribution as a, a dividend. This is by creating the debenture redemption reserve is the point. Retaining the, there are two ways. The profits which are set aside could be either be retained in the business or you can make investment of the same in the outside securities. So, company set aside every year a part of the divisible profits of the company throughout the life of the debentures and invest the same in the outside securities in such a way that at the time of redemption cash required may be available by sale of such a investments is the point. So, try to understand friends that uh, generally when people will go for making the investment, when people will go for making the investment. When I have got surplus money which I cannot utilize in my business, I am going to make the investment or alternatively, when my business is able to generate only 13 percent of the return, whereas I got an opportunity to make the investment, whereby that investment is going to fetch me 18 percent of the interest, then also I feel like making the investment outside is the point. Whereas, when I do not feel like making the investment outside, when outside investments are generating 8 percent interest, whereas my business is generating 13 percent of the return, generally I do not feel like making the outside investment. But still, even in that situation also people sometimes may feel like uh, making the investment outside, because making the investment outside has got one comfort. What is that comfort friends? Jab chahiye tab ab jake liquidate karke cash mein convert kar sakte. Tumara business mein khudi invest kare to kya hota? All that money will be invested in the form of fixed assets. Jab chahiye tab aap liquidate nahi kar sakte na. And whereas your debentures are something, the moment the period comes, you have to liquidate the things and have the money and make the repayment. So, that also makes sometimes the concerns to go for making outside investments is a point. It is all financial discipline which we have that really decides about how benefit we can derive out of the situations. See, I will tell you a small example. Padma Plaza is a rented premises. I will pay entire 12 months rent at a stroke one time to my landlord. What is the logic behind it? I feel that I have got less financial discipline. Money is available in the bank means immediately I will get a novel idea of how to spend it fast. 
right so what i feel is why we should have money in our savings bank account instead of that we get in a seasons only the money right may and november so ek bar money aa gaye bole to pura 6 mahine nahi to 12 months ka ek bar de diye to har ek mahine there is no need for what you call uh, thinking whether the rent is paid or not paid money is there or not whatever the balance left out is our money which we can enjoy got the point because rental obligation is something which you cannot avoid this is my way of thinking but this may be viewed as a foolish thinking because people may say what even if you don't have such kind of financial discipline don't put it in the savings bank account put for 12 months fixed deposit one one month each 10000 rupees 10000 rupees 10000 rupees you will get get some interest or not why you are unnecessarily losing that benefit and giving that benefit to somebody else but certain things we do despite of knowing very well that those funds are going to generate small amount of interest if not very big amount because my logic there also is what i'll put the 10000 rupees in fixed deposits over 12 months but every time to cancel that fixed deposit and uh, putting it in the sb account and giving the check to the owner it all kills about 2 to 3 hours of my professional time which also has got a cost it all depends upon situation to a situation so here all this discussion we are making there are two options after setting aside the profits for the purpose of uh, the redeeming the debentures at a future date without a declaration without uh, making those profits available for uh, declaration as a dividend such a profits which are set aside that equivalent amount can be either utilized in the business or it could be well invested in the outside uh, investments is the points so once you are investing in outside investments such a methodology you call it as a sinking fund methodology see what is the difference between reserves and sinking fund reserve and fund once you say reserve profit is set aside and the money is utilized in the business only then you call it as a reserve what do you mean by fund the set aside profit if uh, that the equivalent amount is invested in outside securities then this reserve will take the nomenclature of a, a fund is the point wherever in any balance sheet if you see the fund you see on the asset side of the balance sheet corresponding investment is there or a, a not is the points the so sinking fund method me kya karta what we will do amount is set aside out of the profits every year and an amount equivalent to the profit set aside is invested in the outside as uh, securities when debentures becomes a due securities are sold and uh, proceeds are utilized for the purpose of redemption of debentures so every year you set aside the profits and uh, an amount equivalent to the profit set aside is invested in outside securities and then as and when the time of redemption comes you will make sale of those securities and uh, what you call uh, redeem the a debentures this is the concept in the sinking fund method profit on sale of investment is credited to the sinking fund and any amount in the sinking fund after the redemption is over will get transferred to the general reserve is the points amount of installment to be invested is calculated with the help of the annuity tables so what is your future obligation to repay the debentures accordingly how much every year you have to invest that and all will be calculated based on the annuity tables what are the general entries at the end of the every year profit and loss appropriation account related to sinking fund account then an equivalent amount you have to make the investment the entry is sinking fund investment account related to a bank from the second year onwards what you will you will get interest so bank account related to interest on sinking fund an interest on sinking fund is an income which we are not going to close the same through the profit and loss account but we will transfer the same to which account sinking fund account so interest on sinking fund investment account related to sinking fund and then second year also you have to make appropriation to the sinking fund so pnl appropriation account related to sinking fund and sinking fund and finally both 
accumulated interest as well as the current year set aside profits equivalent amount totally will get invested. So, sinking fund investment account related to bank, both current year in installment plus interest on a, the previous year interest both will be clubbed together and we are going to make the investment. In the year in which you are making sale of sinking fund investment, if you are making it at a loss, then you have to debit the loss and if you are making it at a profit, you have to credit the profit. So, bank account debtor to sinking fund investment, the difference if a debit is short, then debit the loss on sale of sinking fund investment. If a credit is short, credit the profit on sale of sinking fund investment. Profit on sale of sinking fund investment will be credited to the sinking fund account. So, sinking fund profit on sale of sinking fund investment account data to sinking fund. If loss is coming, that also will be debited to the sinking fund investment, sinking fund account, sinking fund account data to loss on sale of sinking fund investment. And debentures account data to debenture holders and debenture holders account data to bank. These are the normal entries. If the debentures are redeemed at a premium, premium on redemption must be closed through either security premium account or sinking fund account. Let us suppose if uh, you have the sinking fund concept, then premium on redemption of debentures is to be closed against the uh, sinking fund account or security premium account. If debentures are redeemed at a discount, the discount must be transferred to the uh, sinking fund account because redeeming the debentures at a discount creates a profit, which profit is to be transferred to the uh, sinking fund account is the point. After redemption of the debentures is over, the sinking fund amount must be, amount in the sinking fund account must be transferred to the general reserve. So, sinking fund ko close karna wale to, sinking fund shows a credit balance. So, debit the sinking fund account and credit the general reserve account. This is about the sinking fund and the issues related to the redemption of debenture. There is another mode also, that is insurance policy method. See, Whenever there is a future obligations in the form of what you call paying huge amount in the form of retirement benefits to the employees or huge amounts in the form of redeeming of the debentures, there and all to your rescue, who will come? Insurance companies will come. Insurance companies will say, this is your future obligation. Against your future obligation, you take a policy and pay us the premium. Then at the time when you require the money for redeeming the debentures, your policy gets matured and you will get the uh, money. So, such kind of situation we call it as a insurance policy method, endowment policy. Endowment policy means after a prescribed number of years that gets a maturity. So, endowment policy is taken from the insurance company for some required for the purpose of redeeming the uh, debentures as a point. Then, General entry is every year, the entry is every year till the policy gets matured, profit and loss account data to debenture redemption fund account with the amount of premium on policy, debenture redemption fund redemption policy account data to bank as and when you make the payment of premium, the entry is debenture redemption policy account data to a bank and in the year of maturity of the policy cash account data to debenture redemption policy account. Then debenture redemption fund once debentures gets redeemed, it has to be transferred to general reserve. So, debenture redemption fund account data to general reserve and then debentures account data to debenture holders account, debenture holders account data to bank. These are the normal entries. Only first two you have to understand cash account data to debenture redemption policy account. That is the entry you are passing for the purpose of what you call uh, receiving the money on a maturity of the policy. And the moment the debentures gets redeemed, debenture redemption fund need to be transferred to which account? To general reserve accounts. Redemption by annual drawings. Redemption by annual drawings. Already I explained this concept. Let us look at in detail. Certain portion of the total debentures are redeemed every year and gradually debentures are redeemed within the stipulated period. Face value of the debentures which are redeemed every year, what you need to do? You have to transfer from the profit and loss account. You should set aside an amount equivalent to the face value of the debentures which got redeemed 
by setting aside the amount from the profit and loss account to the debenture redemption reserve account. This is only to protect the interest of the creditors and all. What is stated once debentures are redeemed to the extent of the face value of the debentures redeemed during the current year, profit must be set aside is the point. Discount on issue of debentures must be distributed over the period of redemption in proportion to the unpaid balance. Once on issue, if you are issuing the debentures at a discount, the discount over a period in what proportion you will apportion in the proportion of the outstanding balance every year in that proportion you are going to apportion. One problem we can do on this concept. Redemption by conversion of debentures. So, conversion should be authorized by a special resolution. Approval of the central government is also necessary. Debenture holders is having a choice either to opt for conversion or opt for the up payment is the point. What are the general entries? That is debentures account rated to debenture holders, debenture holders account rated to equity share capital or new debentures or in case if they want the money then to bank. Redemption by purchase of own debentures in the open market. This is also a most dynamic thing which probability of practical problem coming on this issue is there. That is first aspect you should remember is lot does not prohibit the company from purchasing its own debentures unlike your equity share capital where it is prohibited for the company to purchase its own shares unless it is a buyback scheme. And what is the purpose of purchase of own debentures? There are two purposes. One is for immediate cancellation of the debentures you may purchase the debentures or you are purchasing the debentures as a matter of investment, as a matter of a investment is the point. So, as a matter of investment means what? Whenever the price is less you purchase, whenever the price is more you are making a sale thereby you want to make a, a profit by trading in your own debentures is the point. So, purchase of debentures for immediate cancellation the entries are debentures account data to bank when debentures are purchased at a discount, then debentures account rated to bank to profit on redemption or cancellation of debentures. When debentures are purchased at a premium, debentures account data loss on redemption of debentures account data to bank is the point. So, since you are not maintaining any sinking fund, profit on cancellation of debentures should be transferred to which account? Capital reserve account. Had there been a sinking fund, profit on cancellation would have been transferred to the a sinking fund. Since there is no sinking fund, any profit on cancellation of debentures need to be transferred to the capital reserve. And a loss on redemption of debentures should be transferred to the security premium account or capital reserve. If you are redeeming them or purchasing them at a premium, such is a profit. Such a profit will be either transferred to the, uh, in case if you are uh, Redeeming at a premium, you are getting a loss or you are purchasing at a premium means you are getting a loss. Such a loss either should be debited to the security premium account or should be debited to the capital reserve account. Then every year what you need to do? An amount equivalent to the face value of the debentures which you redeemed, amount must be transferred from profit and loss account to the general reserve account. Friends, you may ask a question that sir both profit and loss account and general reserve are what you call free reserves which are available for distribution as a dividend. Then in that situation what is the fun in it? Here there is no fun for the purpose of fun we are not doing. It signifies the event that the debentures got redeemed. Just to make that event signification we are asking you as a procedural protocol to transfer the amount equivalent to the face value of the debentures from P&L account to the general reserve account is the point.